Welcome to Nibbling with the Neighbors. Come on in and have a bite. Hello everybody and welcome to a St. Patrick's Day edition of Nibbling with the Neighbors. We are going to make a traditional St. Patrick's Day dish. We are going to make corned beef and cabbage in the crock pot. What you need for this recipe is a corned beef brisket. We've purchased two because we are going to have more people here than we thought. <laughs> You're going to need a head of cabbage. You're going to need carrots, red skin potatoes, and an onion. I prepared some of everything. It's a little bit different this time. You don't want to cut the onions into quarters. You want to cut them into bite-sized pieces. So what I did is I just took my onion and I cut it up into bite-sized pieces. And that's all prepared and ready to go into the crock pot. The carrots you want to slice into like matchstick pieces. So you're going to slice them long ways like this like you would get on a veggie tray as so I just realized while I'm over here cutting up these carrots and stuff I didn't have my Bazinga apron on so I had to stop and go put my apron on cuz can't really be a chef if you don't have an apron right so finishing up on these carrots and then I'm going to get started on my red skin potatoes. I already washed them up and got them ready and all you're going to do is quarter them. What I'm going to end up having to do is put all the potatoes and carrots and onions on the bottom of the crock pot. So I'm going to go ahead and put my carrots and onions in the crock pot right now and not turn it on yet because I need room to cut up my potatoes. So. I'm going to throw this into the crock pot over here. And now I'm going to go ahead and cut my red skin potatoes into quarters. Now if they're big, you could cut them into more than quarters, but pretty much about that size is good. So I'm going to take and cut these all up. Now, again, it all depends on how big of a meal you are making as to how many potatoes you want to put in there. It also depends on how much potato to meat ratio that you like to have. Um, the recipe I'm making calls for 10 um, bread skin potatoes. I think I may have a little bit more than 10 here, um, but I'm just going to use them all because I'm doing a little bit bigger uh, brisket than what they're talking about. They also called for a half of head of cabbage, and I am doing a whole cabbage, um, mainly because we have um, five of us here tonight instead of just me and Kevin. So I have to make a little bit more. And like I said, we never mind leftovers. But you can always modify it to size according to how many people you're cooking for and meat to potato and veggie re ratio. Okay, so it also says to place the potatoes in the crock pot. So I'm going to do that. Okay, and then it calls for four cups of water. So I'm going to add four cups of water into the crock pot. Okay, so after you get all the potatoes and carrots and onions and water into your crock pot. You want to go ahead and just mix that up a little bit. So it's all not just sitting 
in one spot. Break up those onions a little. Okay, and now I'm going to bring it over here because it's time to add the briskets. Now this recipe does call for six ounces of beer. I am not going to use the beer because my mother-in-law is coming for dinner and she will not like the taste of that. So we're going to omit the beer. You can add the beer. What it says to do right now is to place your brisket fat side down on top of the vegetables. I have two briskets, so I'm going to place them both in there like so. And then what it says to do is to pour the beer over it. Since I'm not doing that, obviously, I'm not going to pour the beer over it. Okay, some briskets come already with spices. Some come in with little packets like this. So I'm going to, the one already has it on it, so I'm just going to pour this mainly on this one and maybe around the other one a little bit. Move it all in there. No stabbing involved today. Darn, I miss those meals. <laughs> okay, and then you're all set to cook this. Your cabbage is going to come in a little bit later. I may have to cook my cabbage in a separate thing on the stove because it does not look like it's going to fit in my crock pot. Even after this cooks and settles down a little bit, I don't think it's going to fit in here. We will have to see. But I'm going to get this going on the in the crock pot and start cooking. It says that I'm supposed to cook it on cook for eight hours. I'm going to have to cook it. Mine is on low for eight hours. Probably going to have to cook it on high for six hours because otherwise we're not going to be eating till late tonight. So I will keep you updated on how it turns out. So we're going to. Hey, baby. There. Oh, moldy bread! So then I can find green. <laughs> Come on into the camera. Too tall for the camera right now. Duck. Lower. Come down to my level. <laughs> We're going to have some green bread with our corned beef cabbage. Okay, so because I'm changing the recipe a little bit on this and I'm not adding beer over top of the brisket, Kevin made a good point that we don't think the brisket should be on top of everything. So, I mean, it's cooking. You can tell it's cooking. But I don't know if I think it's a good idea either to have it on top of everything. So I'm going to take the brisket out. And what I'm going to do is take some of the potatoes and carrots and onions out and I'm going to bury the brisket and put some of this around it so the brisket actually sits in some of the water with some of the vegetables and it'll probably make the brisket cook faster as well. And I think I may even add a little bit more water to it as well. Get those onions back in there. Get in there, onions! Okay, so I added another cup of water to it. So it's kind of a little bit full now. And I'm going to cover it up and let it cook this way. I have modified the recipe a little bit from what I did originally intend to do, but we will keep track of it and let you know how it turns out. Okay, so our corned beef has been on for three hours now, so let's take a little peek and see how it's coming along. Here's the potatoes and onions and carrots all just sitting on top. You can see the 
water is starting to get more of a color to it. And let's see if I can get down in here and poke at the corned beef. There's one of the pieces of corned beef. Right there, can you see that? Oof, there we go. It's already just fallen right off the fork. So it is coming along very nicely. Hello, everybody. So I'm going to do something a little bit different. I like my cabbage cooked with the corned beef. So I'm going to move the potatoes, carrots, and onions into this pot and continue to let that cook because we've got about an hour left for it to cook. And I'm going to move it over to that pot and then I'm going to add the cabbage to the corned beef in the crock pot and let that cook for about an hour because that's what um, how long the cabbage needs to cook. Okay, so I got the potatoes and onions and carrots in this bowl with some of the juices. And I'm going to cook that on about medium heat, medium, low to medium. And then in here, right now, I just have the two corned beefs. And I am going to cut up the cabbage. as so and then I am going to just add the cabbage to the corned beef over here push it down in and that needs to cook for about an hour and then Soup will be on. Okay, so I wanted to cook the cabbage in with the corned beef and the vegetables. So I transferred it over to two pots and I'm cooking it on the stove for the last hour. Right now I'm going to cut up the moldy bread that Kevin brought home. Get back with you in a few minutes. Okay, so I think everything is done. I just took the first um, corned beef out. Let's slice into it. Looks perfection. So I'm going to have Kevin slice this up while I put the potatoes, cabbage, and carrots and onions into the bowl here. Okay, so here we have it. We have our cabbage, carrots, red skin potatoes, and onions, our corned beef, and our green bread. Okay, it's time for Nibbling with the Neighbors Taste Test. Great green bread. Mom just had some corned beef. How is it, Mom? Good. Okay, you gotta taste everything else. Okay. Kev? Good. Here comes cabbage for mom. Mm. Good. Tastes like cabbage. <laughs> Time for me to taste corned beef. Mm. Perfection. Oh, I did get a little bit of a potato. I tried not to get potato because too much starch. Cabbage, potato, and carrot. Cool. And you, what is it? Some moldy bread. Boomer, you can't have it. You cannot have any. You can't. <laughs> this is mine. Nope. I think this is a successful corned beef cabbage dinner in honor of St. Patrick's Day. 
thank you all for watching. And this concludes another episode of Nibbling with the Neighbors. We'll catch you next Thursday.